Here is a server. I now have it in the bottom of the cabinet. The first thing you want to do is take this power switch here and make sure it is on the closed position so you can get power to the server. And that would be the line. You can just keep that closed position on and then in the front of the server. This is the power button that you're going to use to turn the system on and off. Press it. As soon as you see the blue light, LCD light up, that means the system is on. This button over here is a reset button. You don't need to worry about any of the rest of them. As long as the green light's on, it's running. The blue LCD will tell you the temperature of your server, um, just in case it gets too hot, since we have it in the bottom of a cabinet. Um, after this, you should see things start appearing on the screen. If you need to turn the system off, you simply press and hold the on-off button, and things go off. It's that simple. When you power up your Exerdance, this is what the screen will show. It's going to run through a boot up process, and as long as it doesn't say failed or stopped anywhere along the way, you're fine. It'll end up at the uh, end mirror screen, which we'll see at the end of this. Uh, this is normal to take a few seconds. Running auto setup, you'll see a green screen. After your green screen, the next screen is going to be the Andamiro screen. This is your very first screen. Um, you'll get to your diagnostics menu from this. Then it goes to Pump It Up Pro, and if you leave it on this screen for a while, it will automatically go into demo mode, as we're seeing right now. So after we have the server up and running, we have the uh, server turned on, the projector or the TV turned on, and we see a screen, then we can start putting uh, the dance pads out. They're in these white boxes. All you have to do is take them out of the plastic. The batteries, if they aren't already included, will be taped right on top of the box. Get them out and then we're going to be ready either to put batteries in them or check to make sure that they work. If you have to put batteries inside of your pads, they don't come shipped with batteries. It's simple. All you need is a flathead screwdriver and three of the batteries that came with the pads. Simply loosen the battery cover on the back and you will see uh, on one side it will be like a spring type of thing and on the other side is flat. You're going to have the negative side of the battery go towards the spring and the positive side will rest on the flat part. And then simply replace the battery cover, make sure it's tight. And to check to make sure that your batteries are working and that everything's working good, you just turn around the pad and press the foot button here until you come down to pad ID. And look what pad ID it is. Every one of your um, dance pads should have a different pad ID. This one is number four. Now if I ended up finding two pads that had the number four assigned to it, I would have to go in and do a procedure to change this, and we'll show you this later, but we do try to ship all of the pads with, say you have eight pads, they're going to be numbered one through eight. So right here we have eight pads, and it's going to be one through eight. This just happens to be number four. Um, if you need to change the pad ID, I'll show you that. Okay, later. after I put all the batteries in the pads, make sure the pad IDs are all correct. Uh, this is a typical setup. With This is eight pads. Um, the server's in the bottom of the cabinet. We have a ceiling-mounted projector on this. If I had a regular projector that I was going to put on top of the um, cabinet, I would just have it on top of the cabinet. It wouldn't show so high on the wall. The higher on the wall, the better, so everybody can see. But um, people, when they step on the pads, will find their own uh, place where they can see the wall best. Um, so this is what a typical setup would look like.